A3 application problem on length and midpoint. A triangle lies on a Cartesian plane. The sides are formed by the intersection of the lines y equals to 3x minus 1, 2x plus y equals to 4, and x minus 2y plus 7 equals to 0. Classify the triangle by side lengths. Try to do the solution of this problem and then look into my solution. I'm not going to solve this problem here, but I tell you how to solve it, okay? Now, it says there are three lines and the triangle is formed by the intersection of these three lines. So, what you should do is, you should simultaneously solve these equations and find point of intersection. Once you find the point of intersection, then you can always find the length of the side and then classify the triangle. If all lengths are equal, then it's equilateral. If two are equal, isosceles, otherwise scalene. One more thing you can look into, and that is the slope of each line. In case two of the lines have negative reciprocal slope, then it could be a right angle triangle also, right? So let's rewrite these equations to check the slope, right? First one is y equals two, 3x minus 1. So it's already in slope intercept form and we know why this line has a slope of 3. The second one we could write as y equals to minus 2x plus 4. Correct? And the third one we can write as, we'll take y on this side, so we get 2y and then we'll divide this by 2. So we get y equals to half of x plus 7 over 2, right? Here you can see that the slope of line number 2 and 3 is negative reciprocal, correct? Minus 2 and half. Therefore, these two lines are perpendicular. And so, our triangle is definitely a right triangle. Okay. Now, let's also associate the equation of lines with the graph. Normally, you may have to sketch the lines yourself, right? Uh, okay, let's go through the equations again. y equals to 3x minus 1, y intercept of minus 1, slope of 3, so that is minus 1, and so this is the line y equals to 3x minus 1. I'm calling this line 1. So I have line 1 here, which is 3x minus 1. Now, Line 2 is minus 2x plus 4. So let's call this as line 2. Plus 4 is the y-intercept, this one, and minus 2. So that is my line 2, right? So let me call this as line 2, okay? And that is my line 3. Line 3 has got inter y-intercept of 7 over 2, which is 3 and a half, that's correct, and the slope of half, that's right. So that is line 3 for me. So these are my three lines and you can see line 2 and 3 intersect and this point is a right angle since the slope is negative reciprocal, right? So that is one part. So we have done one part that is definitely the triangle is right triangle. So it cannot be equilateral. It could be isosceles, right? So what you can do is you can check the length of these two sides, right? If they are equal, in that case, it could be isosceles, otherwise it's scaling, right? So, to check these points, you have to simultaneously solve the equation. For example, you can solve these two equations, right? If you take away one from the other, you can find x, and once you find x, you can plug it in this and find y. So, you get point of intersection of line 1 and 2, which is this point, and from the graph, it seems to be 1, 2, right? Those two points are kind of fractions where they are not on the intersection of our graph, right? So solve these two equations and get intersection of line 2 and 3. So line 2 is here and 3 is there, so that point. Similarly, solve 3 and 1, these two equations, and get the third point. Once you get all the three points, you can always find the distance and 
distance between the points you remember the formula right use the formula distance is square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square correct so that will give you the distance and comparing the distance you can classify your triangle as isosceles or scalene right i hope you can do this now thank you